Hi, it's Alina here from Exhibit Mastery, and I had somebody ask me a while back, can I run a report that just shows the amount of square footage, like for drywall, so I can hand it maybe to a sub and then get a bid or have them do the work, just depending on what you're trying to accomplish. So yes, you actually can. There's actually several different reports that you can run in uh, Xactimate through the report system, only in the contractor profile. So I've done a video probably a year and a half ago on this, so that was about time to refresh it and show how you can do it just per trade. So if you just wanna see the roofing trades worth of stuff, no problem. You just wanna see drywall, you just pick that one. It's an awesome thing if you're trying to get a bid from a sub or if you just want to see a breakdown of labor and material and the way Xactimate calculates that out per trade per line item, it's kind of cool. So let's take a look at the different types of reports you can run and how you can filter them out by trade here in Xactimate. So here I am, I'm in an estimate, I'm in the estimate items tab here, and I've added some roofing line items. I've got a living room and dining room that has some damage. I haven't added the paint yet. I just wanted to go ahead and just show this to you of how this is going to work. We can go up to the reports section. Now they've changed print to reports, guys, so don't get lost. Uh, it's been print for probably 15 years. They, they decided last month or two to change it to report. So we're gonna to go to reports here, no longer print. And you're going to go to your print options sub tab here and that's usually where it opens up to. You're gonna go next to report and drop down the list. And there's quite a few interesting different reports that we can look at here once you're in the contractor profile. So this estimate is not in the carrier profile. It's not in any program work profile. This is in the contractor specific profile that you're able to see these report types. So the first one is interesting. It's called the internal TAM. And if you look at that, let me blow this up here for you. You can see that it breaks everything down by hours. How many roofing hours do we need to, in order to replace this amount of shingles? How many, what's the labor rate? All these broken down things that are really cool if you're trying to figure out what exactly Xactimate's paying, it's amazing. So if we go down to the living room here, we look at the carpet, you can see how many hours they think it's going to take. The quantity, so for 445 square feet, and pretty much just rounding up there, it's gonna take 2.41 hours is what they're saying at the labor rate of almost $35 for here in Salt Lake City, Utah. So I thought the internal TAM is pretty fun to look at if you're trying to see the breakdown of how many hours, what they're thinking, how do they break this out, this is where to go. Internal TAM, so just right there under the report type. The next one I wanna take a look at is scope. This is a great one if you have a drywall guy that you want uh, a bid from, but you don't wanna show them what Xactimate's pricing is. So I've got various amount of trades here. So this is where I use the filter. So I go ahead and close that, went back to my print options screen here, and you can see filtered right below the report area. So I'll click filtered and the edit button pops up or um, it becomes active, isn't grayed out anymore. When I click on edit, we have this window that comes up and I'm going to select a certain trade. So I just wanna know, RFG wise, I want to see what my roofing subs are going to bid for this job, but I don't want to give them exact mate pricing. I just want to give them the total squares and the total amount of material that I need. Maybe this could be a good material order for you. Remove the notes. I've got a lot of extraneous notes here on this one, so I could probably remove my notes and make this a lot cleaner looking report uh, for a sub or for a material house. But this was a way that you can get a bid out of somebody for just a specific trade. I could go back and go to drywall. That would be another one that would be interesting to see. And um, it does break it down by room still, which is nice, but uh, just says this is how much quantity of square foot. How much would you charge Mr. Drywall contractor, subcontractor for the uh, labor on this? And without revealing your pricing that you're going to be giving to the insurance company. So that one uh, I think is a is a useful one for those that just want to ask their subs, you know, hey, can we get a bid on this amount of material or in labor? 
without showing your pricing from Xactor. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, the last one I wanted to show you was the trade summary. So I'm actually going to go not filtered on this one and view this. This will give you a total units, hours, material cost per trade broken out by line item. So it's kind of like the internal TAM report, but flipped upside down. It's it's kind of the opposite. So just take a look at this one too. See if it's useful to you. Uh, maybe for just you know, seeing accounting wise, how you're doing versus exact meets material and labor cost. You can break it down here by trade rather by room. I think that's the difference. So just take a look at it, see if it's usable for you and uh, might be good for an accounting person. Maybe uh, if you're looking at job costs and it, what it's costing in exact or what exact meets paying the trade summary I found to be quite interesting as well. So take a look at those reports and see what you think. Just to let you know, you can go ahead and duplicate into the contractor profile because I actually had this estimate in the carrier profile and I created it back into the contractor. So all you need to do when that happens is you can take the carrier profile here. I'm an X1. If you right click in desktop or online 28 or 27.5 version, you'll get the duplicate option. But if you're in X1, you have to highlight the project like I did, make it blue, and then you'll see make a copy or duplicate over here. And all you need to do is duplicate into the new profile. And I usually name it um, something so I know it's the contractor profile. You can see here, um, actually you can't on the X1 list, but this is named uh, Luz Andrea C-O-N for contractor. So I did name it the project differently. But that is how you can see there. That's the name of the project. You can see how you can drop down the list under profile and change that. So if you're in 28 uh, desktop or online, you should be able to right click and duplicate. And then you'll have this option of what you want to name it and then what profile it goes into. So vice versa, if you need to take a contractor profile and put it back at a carrier, you can do it there as well. It'll be carbon copy. Uh, as you can see, my totals are exactly the same. It's a carbon copy of each other. It's just in the different profiles so I can see the different report options. That's the goal there. That's why we do it is because we want to see the different report types. Hope that's helpful to you guys. I really found that interesting, especially the scope report, how I could hand that to a sub. Uh, it was a pretty interesting discovery a while back and I'm glad I got to share it with you today. Of course, as always, if you like this topic, please like this video. Likes are like gold for me here in YouTube land. Also subscribe. I try to release new content on this channel every Tuesday. And let me know if you find a particular report type super useful. I'd like to know from you guys out there what you're using and what profile you use to create your reports. Love to hear some feedback on this one. My name is Alina Wilson with XM8 Mastery. For more information on our Xactimate training for contractors, please visit www.xmatemastery.com. Hope you have a really great week in your business and I'll see you next week.